Each assistant coach brings a different aspect to the program. They all work well together. They have like a different role than, say, Jeremy's. The NCAA actually sets up rules where we're allowed to have two paid assistant coaches, one volunteer position, and then any of the other support staff don't count against your number of three assistant coaches. I didn't get to go to the game. I was at this big barbecue at this huge ranch when the game was going on, so I was sneaking off to the bathroom and checking Univision on my phone, so it's kind of funny, so. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you later, okay? <laughs> Ta-da. I think that last one that we did yeah, had my lead. two or three of these every day. It's not true. What, what are these? I've never seen these before. <laughs> I was born in Wigan, the son of a, a window cleaner and a, and a bookkeeper. Growing up, I played for Wigan Athletic. Long story short, I got offered a, a full scholarship to come out to school in America, and in all honesty, it was the best uh, decision of my life. My year of finishing at, at college was the second year of the MLS, and I was actually the first foreigner ever selected in the, in the MLS draft. John was a fantastic player, and uh, we actually met many moons ago when we were still chasing the ball rather than watching it. He also succeeded me as the assistant at Cal State Bakersfield, and so really managed to create a great friendly relationship as well as a great professional relationship that meant that I knew he had the, the perfect qualities that can really help his program out. I'll do a little nice and slow one for you, okay? I'm originally from Colorado, played for Jeremy at Fort Lewis College, uh, 2004 to 2008. And then straight after that, I uh, got an opportunity to be basically like a graduate assistant at a school in Colorado as well. Learned a ton there and then uh, moved on to University of Denver. And I was there for uh, a season. And then um, Jeremy asked if I'd be interested in coming out and working here at Stanford and I couldn't really uh, turn him down. Nick came onto the staff as the volunteer coach and showed a tremendous work ethic with everything he does and also really fit the role as the second assistant where he's very in touch with the players, very astute soccer coach. And so with, with Nick, he has the completely different skill sets than John. As a result, we all complement each other really well. like being a human pinata for the goalkeepers. I moved here in 2000, and then in around about 2005, I decided that I'd get into the college game. So I got a job at the University of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Texas, and worked there for a season. And then John, my current assistant here, he became the head coach, and he asked me if I'd be interested in going to Bakersfield to take his job. Last year, I knew that Jeremy had lost his goalkeeping coach. And, you know, the opportunity to come and work for Stanford was, was one that might be too good to miss. So, fortunately, he returned my phone call. Careful of that tree, boys. I fell over it last year, sprained my ankle. I like his accent. I can't understand him some of the time. Oh, it was shell of a lake. I was doing the mines at five. <laughs> Ben's awesome. <laughs> First and foremost, he's a great person, you know, so he's, he's fun to be around. And he also pushes us a lot. You know, we work hard in training. When he joined us in the spring, I just knew it was a perfect fit. He had the goalies more inspired than I've ever seen them before. He listens to us what we think we need to work on, and he works with us building drills that help us grow and help us improve as players. The common theme for all of the goalkeepers is that they just work so hard to improve themselves, and it's exactly what you want. They'll come in, out at the field by one, and then they'll be watching the first game, and then you guys will start warming them up at 2.30. We always, as a staff, will meet because we train in the afternoons, and so as a staff, we'll meet to kind of discuss what we're going to do in training. I work with the strikers here, which I really enjoy. I was a striker myself. He knows what you need to do in order to go pro. He played over in, at Wigan and um, Wigan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wigwam. Wigwam. <laughs> he like coaches the front six when we're doing different patterns to goal, like different ways to get in behind. My relationship with John is pretty much okay. Slater, you've grown up being a defensive. You've played center back. You've played defensive mid and now you're kind of playing more of a box-to-box -box role where you're actually in front of the goal. Can you get those instincts to go ahead and put a chance away? I'd say overall training-wise, my role is more like small group, kind of functional stuff, and even working with individual players, trying to get the right movements. Kirch brings an energy to the practices that's just unparalleled. He's someone who can relate to the players more just because he's younger and, and he jokes around with us. And honestly, we treat him like one of our brothers and like one of the players. I don't think I laugh as much if I'm not with Kurt. He's kind of the guy that 
you know, will mess with you a little bit. He'll uh, throw in a couple jokes here and there. I enjoy working with Jeremy, John, and Ben, but also I think we've got a tremendous group of guys. They have an infectious energy that they give off, and so enjoy watching them play and compete every single day. If you can surround yourself with people you're comfortable with, you're going to enjoy your life because as a coach you're basically working every day. You're around the assistant coaches probably more than your family and I'm sure most family members will <laughs> attest to that. And so surrounding yourself with, with guys that you really appreciate them, they appreciate you and you have that great trust and respect is probably more important than anything else. Are they waiting on us? They probably are, aren't they? Don't sprain your ankle, Kirch. 